Welcome back to the Z-Code System channel. Drew here to talk to you a little bit about the upcoming NBA season. And as you can see there on your screen, the blog at zcodesystem.com backslash blog, the NBA has announced its start date. It will be Tuesday, December the 22nd, and the NBA will return ready for an all new campaign. And if you are following sports in North America right now, with the end of the NBA season and the NHL seasons, which were postponed by COVID-19, as well as the uh, Major League Baseball playoffs and World Series finishing in October, there is a bit of a dearth of action going on right now in American sports. Of course, there's the NFL going on. There is college sports going on as, as much as possible with the college football and the college basketball that's getting ready to start up at the end of this month. Um, so the NBA has kind of filled that void for some of the emptiness that we're having with sports going on right now in North America with the announcement today of December the 22nd being its first night to tip off. Now, we're glad to have you back here on the Z Code System channel, guys. And if this is your first time coming through, great to have you here. And if this is your second, third, fourth time, however many you've been here before, we're, wel we're glad to have you back and welcome you to another episode here on the channel. Now, just a quick check in with you guys today, because as I said before, the NBA is coming back and that's why you're here to watch this video. Uh, the press release that came out today, this morning, was that announcing the season upcoming and to give a little bit of information on some of the things that we can be ready and excited to see. Now, if you go back to, I guess it was last January, February time period before COVID-19 took over the world, there was the idea that the NBA would have a cup tournament similar to what we see in European soccer and with European basketball. That has been put on hold. And in fact, I haven't heard anything about that since early last spring. But what we are going to have is a competitive season upcoming, and that is going to feature 72 games this year. And we're going to We've gone from having the typical 82 game season. We've cut that down 10 games to give you a 72 game season, which is going to be great, uh, possibly more competitive. And we will be able to, um, I, I guess you could say, have fewer games in which having uh, teams already ruled out of making the playoffs. And I'm all in favor of a shorter NBA season. Matter of fact, I'm in favor of shorter seasons for almost every major American sport. NBA, NHL, Major League Baseball, because I think it makes for more competitiveness uh, throughout the season. But of course, that's not good for us who want to bet on the game. So having more games to bet on is always a good thing. So as I said before, the new season will have a 72 game schedule. And uh, we're going to see that tip off on the 22nd with the playoffs coming up in the spring, um, usual time around April uh, around that time period. Now, the salary cap has been released. The numbers this year are going to be uh, the cap will uh, max out at $109.140 million, and there will be a tax level um, of $132.627 million. So those are going to be the numbers that teams are going to be working for. And as you may know, uh, the 20th is when teams will be able to negotiate with free agents. Now that is a short window of time for NBA teams to go from negotiating with uh, potential players and free agents to the time that the season tips off. So we're not going to see a lot of time um, for that going on. Now, if you're following the NBA right now and you're following the news, you will know that the NBA draft takes place a week from, uh, I guess it's today, November the 18th is when it's going to take place. And we're going to see uh, the teams, Golden State Warriors picking first, the teams go at it for the top draft picks in the NBA. Now, from all accounts, from college insiders as well as NBA draft experts, this year's draft is a rather weak one. So we might see a few teams trading down uh, to get some more established players and giving up their draft picks, uh, their high up draft picks. Now, according again to draft experts, 
The number one pick is likely to be LaMelo Ball. He is a six foot eight guard, and he is right now considered the player that the Golden State Warriors are looking at to pick. But there are a couple of others um, that could go. Uh, Anthony Edwards, as well as James Wiseman, are also on uh, are also being lined up by some experts as potential number one picks overall. So some very exciting things going on there if you follow the draft, and I'm sure a lot of you will be following that uh, coming up next week on the 18th. Again, just around one month between the draft and the new season starting out. Now, again, if you follow other sports in the United States, any of those North American sports, uh, speci specifically the NHL, which we did a video on, I believe it was last week we did a video um, about the NHL post or not postponing, but not having a nailed on date to start the season. They have a few different issues. They've got to iron out still in the NHL. Uh, mostly it's that fact that there are a lot of teams, seven, I believe in all, uh, who play in Canada and having that, uh, the border situation in the pandemic is making it very difficult to come up with some ideas of how things will, will get underway. That's probably going to be a big shakeup uh, with things in the NBA that we won't see or sorry, in the NHL that we won't see in the NHL because there's only one Canadian team these days uh, in the NBA. And one of the ideas, and if you watched our video, you go back and watch that, you will know that there is a potential for a all Canadian division in uh, the NHL if and when they drop the puck. And it looks like it's going to be January at some point that they drop the puck. Uh, and that's just um, best case scenario. Now, looking at the NBA, I just went through some of the uh, odds for futures today. I looked at my favorite online sports book, Bet365. Other sports books are out there, so get on to your favorite if you want to bet on the futures for the NBA. And uh, the Lakers, who won the NBA Finals last season, they lead right now in odds at plus 325. Uh, the LA Clippers coming in at second at plus 550. And the Milwaukee Bucks, Bucks that is, at plus 600. Now, if you go to the zecosystem.com backslash blog, you can read up on our blog and get all of this information right there in the handy dandy blog and a lot of more information as well as some of the uh, adjustments and tweaks that the NBA is going to be doing specifically for this season, um, along with the salary caps and the amount of money that's going to be, uh, the, the money and the percentages that are going to be paid to the players. Um, now, one of the things to keep your eye on this season, especially as we get into free agent negotiations, is Giannis Antetokounmpo. Um, I know I just butchered his name, but we all know we're talking about Giannis, the Greek freak with the Milwaukee Bucks. Now, this is a player to keep an eye on because his contract will be up with Milwaukee in 2021. It looks like he's, I mean, by all accounts, everything I've read, he won't be re-signing with the Bucks. There's not going to be a chance for... Um, them to keep them with them being a small market team. And uh, favorites lined up could be Miami for him to go to earlier uh, back in September. They were plus 300, according to sports books, to land Giannis for the next season for 2021 2022. Um, will the Bucks deal him in November? When negotiations for free agents start, well, they could. And just like we saw with Kawhi Leonard, how he went to the Toronto Raptors for one season, um, leading them to a title before moving on as a free agent to the LA uh, Clippers. Could we see uh, a one season loan kind of deal or uh, one of those one, one and off season signings um, with, uh, with um, Giannis going to a team away from the Bucks while the Bucks pick up a couple of pieces? Now, the Bucks, of course, um, have messed the bed the last two seasons in the playoffs after having great regular seasons, but that's just the what happens with a post or a playoff uh, structure. So the Bucks could deal, but uh, I guess they could more likely hang on to him and just lose him for free next summer. Now, a lot is going on with the NBA, but the big news is it will tip off on the 22nd of December, so we're all excited about that. And... Um, we will be covering the NBA this year on Z Code System. So you'll be able to come over to the blog, check out some picks, previews, and of course, always get the picks and previews or the picks um, and the hard data from the Z Code System VIP. So go over there and you can use that, sign up, and you can get all of your NBA picks and all of that great data that is used to help you make 
educated predictions on your sports betting this year when the NBA tips off. And of course, if you want to follow the NFL or any of the other sports, the English Premier League, then you can go over to the blog and get up to date on everything that we write there and we post, as well as here on the YouTube channel, where we put videos up weekly covering various sports around the world. So guys, thank you for watching today here on the Z Code System channel. If you like what you see or what you saw, smash that thumbs up and give us a like and also subscribe so you're up to date on everything we do here at Z Code System and you can check out the videos every time we post. Thanks guys. We'll see you soon from Z Code System.